What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about GameStop. It's up over 120% today. It was up 100% yesterday. It's up 1600% for the year. It is one of the most, if not the most traded stocks so far in 2021. We're gonna talk about what led to this crazy surge, why it happened, and also how you can identify stocks that are set to surge like this. So stick around, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Let's get into it. First off, it's all over Twitter. No stop for GameStop, the GME rally, continues amid massive short, short squeeze. Stick around. I'm going to explain exactly what a short squeeze is and how you can identify short interest to know which stocks are showing potential for a short squeeze. Okay. So stick around. Um, I read this article, guys. It's, it's, it's pretty in detail. It says how GameStop found itself at the center of a groundbreaking battle between Wall Street and small investors. It explains a little bit about GameStop. Okay. As we know, like many retailers, retailers already suffering from the shift to online sales, the video games chain is losing money and plans to close closed 450 stores this year. Obviously that was led to by coronavirus as well as retail naturally being down. GameStop shares, okay, in April could be bought for 325 a share. It Surge. It started off in September, okay? Right here, the strange saga of GameStop's cult status can be traced back to September when Ryan Cohen, he is the investor and founder of the online pet food giant Chewy, took a 13% stake in the retailer and started lobbying for it to, to move more of its business online and become a serious rival to Amazon. Okay, the company's share price began to soar as small investors snapped up a cheap stock using the trading app, Robinhood, and so forth. Wall Street saw something else, a chance to short an ambiguous bet against Amazon. Okay, shorting a stock is risky. It involves borrowing a company's shares and selling them with the intention of buying them back cheaper when the price falls. Many Wall Street fortunes have made this have many Wall Street fortunes have been made this way, but if the price doesn't fall, the losses are huge, okay? Let's take a look at what exactly happened in September. We talked about Ryan Cohen had mentioned it and it began to soar up. Um Lately, okay, what this is what happens right here. The stock surge has in large part been fueled by an army of Reddit charged day traders who use the website Wall Street Bets forum to pump up shares and fight back against the huge levels of short sellers, which has held steady at about 140% of the float. Basically, Wall Street Bets, it's crazy if you're on if you're on that, if you're not on that, get get ready uh or get on it and start reading the forums, but individuals are literally like, guys, it's time for the retail investors to fight back against the big guys at Wall Street, and man, they are really putting a hammer to them and making a lot of money from it. Um, where do I see the stock potentially going? I mean, it's trading at about 330 right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it hits 400. I do not see it as the longevity just because the company itself and the fundamentals and the, you know, the, the business aspects do not warrant a, a $10 billion valuation, uh, but it, it, it's, it's pretty crazy right here. I get that people think it's fun when bad thing happens to Wall Street hypes, but this GameStop thing is no joke. This guy tweeted, these stock traders are conspiring to manipulate the markets in open view of us all and using the nah, it's for the lulls and the other side sucks as an excuse. So I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, there's articles everywhere all about it. Game. This is another one. GameStop insiders sold stock before it even went vertical. It shows right here. GameStop shares tripled in 2020, and so far in 2021, they've skyrocketed 16 times that. Um, <clears throat> where is it right here? Sorry, guys. Director Kurt Walsh, Hestia Capital Management, sold 810,000 of GameStop shares in the 12th and the 13th. Average price of 21.22. Um, right here, GameStop chair Kathy Vrabak sold 50,000 shares. For twenty seven ninety nine, Raul Fernandez, another guy, uh, average price of thirty five point five. Elizabeth Dunn, same thing, January thirteen. A little bit of insider trading, and man, I wish they they uh, man bet they wish they uh, you know hung on to it because it's you know gone up you know ten x from that too. So uh, a little bit of good news is that the Allied Market Research, a global online video platform and media and entertainment market size, is projected to reach nine hundred fifteen million projected growth. A little bit of good news for the uh, you know. Uh, video game store but however i just don't think the warrants it. and i don't think the crazy uh you know ps5 uh you know um surge has, has caused the the stock warrant to this price but it's it's pretty crazy guys if you don't know exactly what a short squeeze is okay let me explain that a little bit right here okay um a short squeeze occurs when a stock or other assets uh, jump sharply higher forcing traders who had bet that its price would fall to buy it in order to forestall even greater losses they scramble to buy the their scramble to buy only adds to the upward pressure that's supply and demand and buying power now let's get into it a little bit deeper let's talk about this okay short sellers are being squeezed out of their positions usually at a loss 
And the turnaround in the stock's fortunes may prove to be temporary, but if it's not, the short seller can face runaway losses as the expiration date on their position approaches. They generally opt to sell out immediately, even if it means taking a substantial loss. This is where the short squeeze comes in. That's what happened to the price. If you look at the charts, that's what it is. It's called a short squeeze. Every buying transaction by a short seller eventually sends the price higher, forcing another short seller to buy, okay? Now, and if you guys, I'd mentioned in the start of the video, how do you know when this is potentially going to happen? Watching for short interest can tell you whether an investment sentiment about a company is changing. For example, if a stock typically has a 15 to 30% short interest, a move above or below that range could signal investors have shifted their view on the company. Okay, Fewer short shares could mean the price has risen too high too quickly or that short sellers are leaving the stock because it's just become way too stable. As you saw in September, it, it went up, you know, 400% just from that, that baseline in September, even higher if you're counting from April too. Um, but an extremely high reading could be a sign of a coming short squeeze, which could, could force the price higher. There's a couple of spots where you could find out exactly what short interest is. One of them is, I mentioned this in my channel all the time, it's nasdaq.com. Right over in the left-hand side, it shows short interest. It's not going to show the percentages. However, it's going to show uh, you know, your numbers as well as your average average daily volume. And you can kind of see when it starts to, fl to fluctuate, okay? This is just Tesla. I happen to just pull it up because Tesla is another one that uh, Wall Street has shorted against and they lost billions and billions of dollars last year and they continue to short against the stock and it's continued to never never let them down but as you can see this insane increase in price however it's matched by value uh, by volume seeing that fluctuations pay attention to the shortages they might be able to tell you as well as you know in, uh, crazy increases in uh in value. So guys, that's it for this video. I'm really excited to watch, uh, you know, continue to see how GameStop performs and, you know, exactly what it does. I, you know, I expect it to eventually be, you know, pull back, but I don't know if it's done being pulled up yet. So if any of you guys have ridden this at all, made any money off of stock, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear it. Consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it guys. And I'll see you in the next one.